What's up, everybody? I hope you enjoyed this video today. This is a full walkthrough of the Maiden Voyage plus all 10 journal locations. If you find the video helpful or if you just enjoy it, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you know when I post new videos. Also, don't forget, I do stream live on Twitch five days a week. Full schedule is in the description. I hope you enjoy this. I hope you find it helpful. See you in the next one. What's up, bud? You look a little worse for wear, my friend. You must be on quite the journey. I should eat something if I were you. A full belly can do wonders for your spirits. Once you're in good health, we'll speak properly. Okay. Oh, I already have food. Right, there you go. There, you look better already. Maybe even strong enough to reach the Sea of Thieves. Maybe. <laughs> Don't look so surprised. These days they call me the Pirate Lord. But back when I discovered this place, I was just a bold explorer like you. I dreamt of finding uncharted waters filled with treasures and rife with danger, where every sunrise brought a new adventure. You've been brave to make it this far. Not many do. Now you've one last crossing to make. You'll want some trusty steel at your side, though. There's a sword in those trees whose owner doesn't seem to need it anymore. <laughs> All right. Let me take that. Wrecked. Speak to the Fire Lord on the beach. There's far more to being a pirate than a blade in your hand and a love of other people's money. It's about finding your way through ancient caverns by lamplight, digging up long-lost treasures, and raising a frothing great tankard of grog when you live to tell the tale. <laughs> For all that, you'll need the right equipment. Dude, it's like nine in the morning. You can start Jesus. by taking this old shovel. I stowed a few belongings around here back in the day. The map will show you the way. Yes, okay, we're good. Um Okay, it's yeah, right out here on the on the edge. I think it's right before this bush, yeah, yeah. Turn the old sailor's chest to the pirate lord. Ah, my old chest. Let's see if she still hides her secrets. I mean, there's holes in it. <laughs> Damn! It's like I used to fix TVs. A lot of good stuff in there. A fine weapon. She'll serve you well out there. All right. Equipment received. Got it. There. Now you look like a true pirate. Mm -hmm. There's plenty more to see, so why not stretch your legs and explore? I'll be here when you're ready to leave. All right. So whenever we're ready to leave the island, he'll be chilling here. But if we go into our tall tales, we can see all the commendations you got to get. So reach the Sea of Thieves. Uh, that If we just leave now, then we'll reach the Sea of Thieves. No big deal. Uh, discover all the Pirate Lord's journals on Old Sailor Isle. Uh, open the hold and Magpie's Fortune. Catch a fish while on the Maiden Voyage. Discover the rowboat in Old Sailor's Isle. Uh, cook some meat on Old Sailor's Isle. Fire a cannon from the wreck of the Magpie's Fortune. Complete all maiden voyage commendations and we'll get the jacket and sails. So let's do that. Let's uh let's fish and then um cook some meat as well. We'll do that quick. I see some meat right here, so. Oh <laughs> I was like, wait a second, I thought I got it. 
Okay, just keep saying, speak to him whenever you're ready to set sail. So we'll cook this chicken. Yeah, the drills are hard because they don't give you any clue as to where they are. Okay. Cook the meat. Do I have to eat it? Oops. Okay, that's one done. Cook some meat on Old Sailor's Isle. Boom. Oh, the other was catch a fish. That's right. I will catch this fish. Come on, fishy. Bite onto the baitless hook. You know you want it. Oh, it's... <laughs> It's popping up and going away like that because I keep reeling it and unreeling it. Uh, this is basically, I just want to do all the tall tales. So I'm doing them from like the first one to the last one. I'm not doing like all of them five times or anything like that. I'm just doing first to last. And then each one I'm going to make into a YouTube tutorial. So these will be posted on YouTube as well. We got that cooked. I guess I can just eat that too. I don't need it for anything. So that should be another one done. Yep, caught a fish. All right. Now we're getting into the nitty gritty. I know one of them's up here. They gave it a name. The Sea of Thieves, that's what they're calling it nowadays. The genie is out of the bottle, and more pirates are finding their way there every day. Some are looking to hide from their enemies, from their past, from the Grand Maritime Union, while others have heard the call to adventure. It's only a matter of time before they reach this isle too. Maybe they'll be dreaming all about the Sea of Thieves what the Sea of Thieves has to offer, just as I just as I was. If that's the shape of things to come, I'll be a fool to complain. Instead, I'll stow a few supplies around this place for those who need them. Things work differently beyond the shroud, better for the most part, but newcomers will have to think on their feet if they're to survive. Alrighty. Uh, I do know another one's at the top of this mast as well. I'll grab this one too. Lost Secrets. Blast it all. The key to my ship's holding hold is missing. It must have slipped from my pocket at some point in my time here. Between this and the business with Rathbone, I'm developing a bad habit of losing the keys to my belongings. Perhaps it made its bid for freedom from my jacket when I climbed up for a drink of fresh spring water. Ah, well, it's another lost treasure now. Fresh spring water, you say? <laughs> I think it's right around here. It's either here or the other pond. I forget which one. Craziness. And then... I forget where the hold was. Oh, right there. Right in front of me. All right, so down here you get a uh, bunch of gold, bunch of doubloons, and uh, I think that's what it is. Bunch of golds. Oh, there's a, uh, a journal down here as well. Uh, if you're reading this, you've been broken in. You've broken into my strong box, which makes you a worthy pirate indeed, worthy enough to hear my plan. Transforming this old stomping ground of mine into a safe haven for travelers has sparked something deep within my soul. It is the flame of an idea, a great tavern for far more magnificent than the usual pubs and alehouses, known only to truly legendary pirates. A den that sold only the finest plunder, where hardened 
adventurers and cunning sea dogs can meet to swap stories of glory and go go golden glory. If you make it to the Sea of Thieves, and should you hear, if should your heart desire a real challenge, heed my words, seek Athena's fortune, I shall be waiting. Ooh, okay. Oh yeah, we'll fire a cannonball out here. Get that accommodation done. Beautiful. Is that one done? All right, cannon fired. Good. Got to get the rowboat. Uh, rowboat and return to the Sea of Thieves and the journals. And that's it. All right, we got the cove down there. Journal right there in front of us. We can't get to it. Never get tired of the graphics in this game. Very true. Very true. All right. Making camp. Even with all the wonders I've experienced, it's the simple things in life that remain the most enjoyable. Tonight, that's a hot meal roasted over a roaring fire. Fresh fruit, all well and good. But if you take the time to properly prepare a meal, you'll feel all the better for it. The trick is to keep an eye on the dish and serve it up when it's perfectly cooked. No amount of grog can wash away the taste of burned food. I don't know. I beg to differ. <laughs> uh, with care and a bit of practice, even a humble splashdown can keep a pirate in good health with a full belly. At least they're good for something. Wow. Throwing shade at the splashdowns. Unreal. I didn't see that was denied by auto mod. All right, there is the rowie. Before we go in it, though, we get this journal right here a ship that fits. We've all seen what happens when huge armadas try to take, try to make it through the Devil Shroud, and it's not pretty. Screaming sailors and splintered ships. I learned a long time ago that smaller crews have a better chance of making it along the twisting routes that provide safe passage to the Sea of Thieves. A lone traveler is best served by a sloop. They're small and nimble, though their size comes at an expense of firepower. Larger crews must learn to sail a brig or even the mighty galleon. A uh, commanding site with eight cannons and three great sails. And then, of course, we have the humble rowboat. These tiny crafts can be carried by the other larger ships and are perfect for retaining the element of surprise. I'm gonna go attach this to our ship. I wonder if this stays on my boat because of this current update. I wonder if this will stay on my boat or if I, uh... Actually, you know what? I'm not going to repair that yet because I don't want to leave yet, just in case. Yeah, you think so? Oh, yeah, it's right here. Never mind. I thought I could have swore it used to be in there. Now it's right here, I guess. Interesting. I could have swore it used to be inside. Uh, new landmark. The stricken ship can certainly wasn't uh, here during my last visit. There's no sign of a crew, so perhaps they fell overboard and met their end. Things are different on the Sea of Thieves, thanks in no small part to my own adventures, I must confess. We have an arrangement with the merfolk who live deep under the waves. Should any pirate become lost at sea, stranded, they'll help them back to their ship. If you should find yourself flung overboard, travelers look for merfolk's beacon before the sharks get your scent. You'll be glad you did. All right. Sounds good. See the damned. Not all my journeys to this island are happy ones. Today I stumbled onto this poor soul 
map still in their hand to think they were so close. No matter how swiftly we sail or how sharp our aim, it's only a matter of time before the Reaper's hand clamps down upon our shoulder. I am fortunate to have a friend with wisdom enough to know this. Thanks to her, I live on beyond my years, at least in spirit. For younger pirates, another hope presents itself when they perish, their souls are saved from drifting alone through the Sea of the Damned. If you should die on the Sea of Thieves, you'll find yourself in the ferryman's company. Know this, he deserves your respect, for he has made the greatest sacrifice of all. Foreshadowing? <laughs> okay, I know along here somewhere there's a ladder with like a... With a um, journal beside it. Here we go, I knew that. Uh, Lords of the Sea. Once long ago, I was standing atop these cliffs and staring out at the sea quite lost in my own thoughts. Suddenly, there was an almighty crashing sound. It was a kraken and one of the largest I'd seen for quite some years. I was so startled, I couldn't help but take a leap backwards in surprise. Once I'd picked myself up, battered and bloodied, I decided to install this ladder in case any fortunate sailors took a tumble this same way. Nowadays, thanks to f that fool <laughs> Merrick, Krakens aren't the only sea monsters to watch for. Megalodons are once more roaming freely beneath the waves. They can prove quite challenge uh, for even most experienced pirates. Why, I once battled a monstrous pale-skinned beast at, well, I'll save that tale for another time. <laughs> I don't believe you. I believe... Um, there's one right here. Paintings from the past. Of all the unsolved mysteries that haunt my dreams, none are more tantalizing than the long lost people known to the pirates as the ancients. The legacy can be felt all across, their legacy can be felt all across the Sea of Thieves from runes that lurk under deep waters to clifftop paintings that shame my humbler efforts the clear the, they clearly had a great wealth of knowledge and had mastered many curses and other arcane powers and yet something drove them to leave maybe some great war or calamity struck their civilization perhaps it was simply time for them to move on the truth as it always has eludes us all all right There it is. <laughs> Hiding right in plain sight. You've nearly done it this time, Ramsey. It's one thing to return to your favorite island and quite another to wreck your ship at it, at the heart of it. I was bound to get careless sooner or later. Uh, this place has my, my little secret for so long, has been my little secret for so long. I couldn't wait to get back here to dream. I'm so close to the shroud. I feel like I could reach out and touch it. I'm not ready to sport a hook for a hand though, not yet anyways. What lies on the other side? Piles of glittering gems, huge leviathan the size of galleons. Even better, might there be a future for pirates like me. Next time things will be different, I'll visit Mag, uh, visit Magpie the shipwright uh, and buy a new vessel, take my time, find a crew, we shall sail together. So the only thing left is to reach the Sea of Thieves and uh, that will complete all the accommodations and give us everything. Okay, let me uh, repair the ship first and then we'll get ready to get out of here. And we'll have a uh, little cinematic here getting out of uh, this area. Oh yeah, I can't pull the anchor up until I talk to him. That's right. Well now, I say you're as ready as you'll ever be for what's ahead. 
Allow me to show you the path. Ooh. The shroud is beginning to part, but you have one more task before your journey continues. You may be ready to sail, but your ship still needs repairs. Go and tend to her wounds. I think I'm one step ahead of you there, bud. Alright, let's get to the Sea of Thieves. Is it weird that this guy's already Pirate Legend and level 10 Athena and I'm just doing this for the first time? <laughs> All right, so this is the little like kind of cinematic, but you still have to steer the boat uh, to get to the Sea of Thieves. But it kind of introduces you to all the NPC stuff. Skelly ships, Megalodons, Krakens, all that good stuff. Can't even see the island behind us anymore. Wants me to go left. <laughs> What's up, Rage? How you doing, man? Better not bite my boat. Today, pretty good. Doing pretty good. Can't complain. This guy starts shooting, and in perfect skelly fashion, he doesn't hit one shot. Same rage, new look, exactly. New name, new look. There's Steve Saving. Gone that long, we have the same sub badge. 
<laughs> Cheat of the system, don't even know the other guy. Of course. <laughs> Great new rage. <laughs> well, Theo's not very happy. I can hear him screaming in the background. Christian Kane would really attack the skellies? Yeah, right? That'd be funny if you're just sailing around seeing the Kraken attack the skelly ships out of nowhere. Just chilling. Oh, yeah, wishing the Karen. <laughs> All right, so after that, it takes us out to. I think it takes us into a loading screen. Yeah, yeah. Then we go into the regular game here. All righty. 